we're born in this human realm. We have the opportunity to develop the good qualities of human beings. And as we live here, we can share those good qualities with others, so that when we leave, we've left good things behind. So we want to make sure that we don't go off course. The Buddha listed four ways of going off course. One is through partiality. In other words, there are certain people you like, and so you treat them in an unfair way because you like them. You know, unfair in the sense that you give them more than is their due, simply because you like them. And where do you get that more? Well, you get it from the people you don't like. That's the other way of going off course, or the people you dislike. And so you treat them in an inhuman way, an unfair way. And the cases where you're deluded, and the cases where you go out, of course, out of fear. You're afraid that you'll lose the things you depend on, your wealth, your health, your relatives. And you don't end up doing things that make it difficult to maintain wealth. Because the Buddha said, you don't gain wealth by fighting, you gain wealth by being generous. You don't look after your health by fighting, you look after your health by holding the precepts. And the same with your relatives. We all know that we're going to have to leave our relatives at one point. Either they go first or we go first. Because the Buddha said, if you want to live together again in the next time around, you observe the precepts, both sides of the precepts. And people who, make, who, people who have the precepts, the Buddha said, and make vows, their vows tend to come true. So the Buddhist sense of how we protect these things is very different from the normal sense that we have in the world. But the Buddha's way of doing it is the human way, the humane way. In other words, you look for safety and security in life through being generous, through being virtuous, through developing the mind. So these are the qualities that we try to develop again and again and again. These are the qualities that you hear over and over again in Dharma talks throughout the Asian world, the Buddhist world in Asia. Generosity, virtue, meditation. And when they talk about meditation, they start with meditation on goodwill, realizing that we live together. And if we have ill will for somebody else, we're going to do unskillful things. And that, those unskillful things have become our karma. So we're harming ourselves as we harm others. So we do our best to provide protection, at least from our quarter. Maybe you can't prevent other people from doing harm, but you make sure that you don't do any harm to anybody at all. But so that's a form of universal safety that you give to the world. And when that safety is universal, then you have a part in it too. So look for your opportunities to do good in the world. And when you do take advantage of those opportunities, learn how to appreciate how good it is that you can do this. That will encourage you to do it more. And you're setting a good example for others. It's this way that goodness survives in the world. And that's the kind of survival that matters most.